Okay, Marcos and Foch are going to play right now. This is Sunday's nine ball tournament. Marcos and Foch. Marcos is the guy that beat me earlier today. So you'll get a chance to see how this guy shoots. In fact, you know, I feel like I can beat him, but it's really his pace. I just don't play well with the... Uh... Well, that's not true either. Anyway, slow pace player. Good luck to both players.
what I mean? Marcos and Fudge. We got a lot of people in the live stream right now. We got a ton of railbirds here. Mika Eminent is still here. He's still in it. And uh, it looks like a match between Mika and, I don't know, Mika and somebody is just over now. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and find out who he played today and who he's beat today. But he's still, I think, on the winner's side, and um, we still got a lot of players. We're gonna be here late. Can you handle that? Score now between Foch and uh, Marcos here is, I think, three to one. But I don't know who's ahead. So maybe the chat room can help with who's ahead right now. And uh, for those of you watching just the recording of this, or 
Oh my gosh, now I gotta go play Mauricio. I beat Butch Barber, by the way, we went hill hill. All right. Say hello to El Salvador. Mauricio says hello to El Salvador. Morris Math. Miguel Batres. And Jackie. Miguel Batres. Hola, hola Miguel Batres y Jackie. Okay. Happy New Year. Uh, happy New Year. Feliz Ano Nuevo, sir. What are you? I don't know. What to, all right. I'm out of here. Three, two, Marcos. Fach Garcia shooting now. Hey, thanks for hanging in there, guys, with the, without the commentary. But it uh, doesn't seem like anybody wants to step in the box today. They all want to watch Cool Pool.
what's up chat this is Ryan how's everybody doing Foch and Marcos 3-3 three, three. change the score on this Close to that seven ball. That's what he's looking at. So he's taking his time. Safety coming up. Very carefully done. Marcos has a kick. He could do a kick here where he could stop the cue ball right where the seven's at and try to send the cue ball or seven ball around a couple rails where the eight's blocking it. No, he's not using a draw. No draw. He's just kicking. Oh, he did. He went for that. Okay, Foch has a cut here. Missed the pro side and actually missed it. Cut it way too thin and came behind the seven and kicked it. Hit that good. And that's the best you could do with that cue ball to get to the eight. Shoot down corner. Oh, it's a good thing about having the nine. Somewhat in the middle of the table, you got six pockets to choose from. You just gotta worry about making the eight.
Well, it looks to be uh, like Mika Eminen and Ernesto Dominguez. How do you like that? That works. Two to one. Ernesto.
tournament. All right, everybody. Um, looks like we got. We still got Mika. And Ernesto going at it. And uh, I see the score is 4 2, 3 2. Is it Mika in the lead, Frank? Ernesto's in the lead, and Mika's got a chance to tie it up right now. He might be on the wrong side of that five ball a little bit. He can just sneak past these balls. This looks like he's drawing out. No. No. Yeah, he got he got a little careless there, but he's got a pretty good safety. Automatic safety, so now let the safety battle begin. Sorry I've been gone, guys. Um, you know, I'm in this tournament as well. We have 24 players still left. We started with 65 players today, and we've got a ton of railbirds here. The action is just great. This is uh, a first Sunday of the month to remember, and it's the first of the year. Mika missing the bank there. Oh, was it a kick? It was a kick. Okay. Well, Ernesto's, he's hooked. It's an easy escape, but yeah, I think jumping is Jumping's a good choice here. But no real cue ball on that. Looks like he hit that six ball direct. That's an interesting looking break uh, or jump cue he's got. What do you got there, Frank? Cho hot chocolate? This is a, this is a, yeah, I was going to say this kick is almost a kick, kick to death because, you know, you're kicking out into the open field there, almost certain to leave a shot. Well, the safety's on, but I think Ernesto might bank this. Yeah, that was a good bank, but uh, the cue ball came short. Now what are you gonna do here? Are you gonna are you gonna play the soft safety here and try to stick the cue behind the eight? Yeah, yeah, you wanna create some distance. He wants to put the eight on the short rail, but he's, he's thinking that he's going to scratch in the side if he does that. He's, that's why he's looking to see if he can beat it. But he needs to get separation between them. That's what, that's yeah, what he wanted to do. That works out he good. He wanted to make sure he didn't scratch in the yeah. side naturally. Wow, he really split He split the eight there, yeah, if didn't he? left he? the eight ball by the nine ball, it would have made the uh, Mika have too many options with a kick. Uh-oh. Mika's mad. I 
There's two games that Meek has lost because he got careless. He got careless on that. Uh, he shot the five to get on the six. And yeah, you last, said he was okay, but he, you know, he, he just. You know, he tried to. I he think tried he to, get to get under the good. nine. He tried yeah, to get under the, well, not under the nine. One thing he could have done is he just could have made the five and then run over and hit the nine ball with the cue ball. He would have had a shot on the six, not the best shot, but for him, it's a routine. Right, right. Last he could have game. even shot that shot and just drew out and bumped the nine behind yeah. him. Just draw out a little bit. Well, yeah, just draw and out play a, nine ball. Yeah. He would have had a cut shot on the six. Like yeah. I said, it would have been a shot good for him because uh, he's going to make that shot. His, you know, maybe his pace is killing him. You know, he's going into it too quick. He's not, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, last game, he, should, he missed the five ball trying to get on the six. And he had a pretty nice angle, but uh, he was trying to get better on the six, so he pounded the ball harder and he missed it. Good break. Oh, he's got a nice angle to make this ball. He does. A very nice angle. And to get on the three. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ernesto could really do some damage here. Yeah, he wants to make sure he goes far enough so that uh, the nine ball is not too much in play when he makes the three so he can get out for the four. And that he did. Well, see, the nine is still, he's still going to rub that nine. He's using the nine. Yeah, he feathers off of it. That's always a little dangerous. He should be okay. He might have to kill the cue ball here uh, a little. He's gonna, he's gonna run towards the five with some inside English. He's gonna cut it to his right and put some inside English to run towards the five. That's a good shot. Oh, that was really nice. Is this a winner side match as far as you know? As far as I know, it is, yeah. It's already four to two. And I believe it's a race to five. Yeah, for these two, I think it is a race to five. And this would be it. Ernesto would uh, send Mika to the one lost side. I didn't side understand that shot. If he I did not understand that oh shot. Oh my gosh. I thought he could have just gotten stayed on the other side of the nine ball and cut the eight in. Another safety. Oh, he showed Mika the ball. He didn't hide it like he wanted to. He could put that eight ball over here on the uh, short rail on the name plate, on the Brunswick name plate, and use them right English to kill the cue ball up on that end of the table. Which is not a bad shot because that right English is going to make the eight ball take some left. I'll be surprised if he does anything but that. Now he's using the left, so I don't understand what he's doing now. That was a good shot. Unfortunately. What, do you think he got there? I think he I did. Th I think he can see enough to cut it in the corner if he can't, if he don't scratch in the side. I think he did, yeah. Might be banking it. Oh, he drilled it. He made that look so easy. Well, this is not easy either here on this on this tail. Is he dead straight? Because he on played it? he played the cue ball just in case he missed that eight, you know? No, uh, the eight ball was gonna be flying around the table, but he was just playing the make ball. When you shoot this shot, if you got a little angle, he's gotta take the cue ball all the way to the short rail if he can in case he misses it. See, see the speed that he used to put the, bring the cue ball to the short rail? Yeah, yeah, he ends up splitting the nine again. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a little percentage of little insurance. He'll cut this. If he wants to win this match, he's going to take the cut. Yeah, yeah, will he, will he make it though? We are looking at a world champion Let's here. Let's see if he plays it on the pro side. No, he didn't. Well, he didn't leave, uh, he didn't leave uh, Ernesto too easy. Well, you know, if you only need one, uh, I, I wouldn't mind shooting this one. Uh, Mika needs three. Ernesto needs one, so it's, a, it's just a free shot to win the match. 
Just enough speed so that it doesn't go two rails and scratch in the corner over here. Oh, look at this. These guys are, <laughs> these guys are just playing real good cue ball. Yeah. yeah, they're playing a real good cue ball. Mika's like, oh my gosh, yeah, if can't one of us make a mistake quick? <laughs> definitely, this shot, you can bring this one here to the uh, to the short rail over here. What was that? All right, what's... That was a give up. What was that? Do you know what that up. was? Do you know what that was? Was that intentional? That was a give up. He was trying to bank it. The speed was no good for any safety or nothing. He was just trying to make it. Ernesto's going for it, I think. No, Shell, you have to go for this. He made it. It looks great. Wow, what a good shot that was by Ernesto Dominguez, who says, not on my turf, Mika. Right? And on my pockets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mika got dominguez <laughs> This is Daniel, and I'm sitting here with uh, Frank the Barber, Frank Almanza. And it's nice to see you again. I haven't seen you in so long, it seems. Yeah, it's been a good while. I'm glad, about... you're, I'm glad you're back in the area, though. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be here quite a bit, actually, at hard times. Uh, yeah. You know. I, uh, I watched you mixing it up on the stream last week. Oh, what, just doing open action? Yeah. Well, that's what yeah. I'm going to be doing. Yeah. Next week, I'll do open action, too. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm going to have uh, action Saturdays, action Fridays, action Sundays. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, have you been playing fun. all rotation games, nine ball, ten ball? Whatever comes up. Oh, yeah. You well. know what? I'm just going to remind people, come on down to hard times, start barking, and let's, let's, put it, let's put it on the live stream. Come on now. Right? Yeah. Are you doing any one pocket? Sure. Why yeah, not? Well, there you go. That's the yeah. thing. Is it's open. It's open action, just like I said. <laughs> so you know, come on down for open action. All right. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, that's an invite to anybody that wants to come down and, and bark are bark you, at uh, bark at some of the guys at hard times. Are or, you passing out numbers or just putting a list out or? No. It's. Oh, hold on. That's how oh, you should have man, I'm playing Mark Whitehead right now on the stream table. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Look out. Daniel Bush versus Mark Whitehead coming right up. Open hey, thanks, thanks for hacking. Yeah, open action. 